Welcome to session 10 of Scratch Junior Tutorials. I uh, request you to click on the subscribe button so that you get a notification every time I create a new video for you. So today we're going to learn something new which is covered up in the yellow triggering blocks which is called start on message, send message. Now this is a very fun option. This can actually help you in making Scratch Junior, you know, activities a little bit more fun. Now it can be a little tricky to understand, but it's a lovely option. So let me show you how it works first. So out here on this activity, if you carefully notice, there are three boats. One is red, orange, one is yellow, one is green. And at the bottom, there are three buttons, which is orange, yellow, and green. Now what we are doing is, instead of clicking on the top of the bots, like earlier what we used to do is, if I need to move the, for example, an orange bot here, I would click on the bot and I'll code it. But I don't want to do that now. What I want to do is, I have three buttons here. I want to play a game. If I press the yellow button only, then the yellow bot moves. If I press the green, then the green moves. If I press orange, then the only orange moves. Or if I press all three, all three moves. Or if I press only two, only two move. So let's see how it works. So I click on the yellow bot button first. The yellow moves. Then the orange. And then the green one. Right? Now suppose I click on all three of them. You see all three of them are working. If I press only on two, it's so only two are working. Right? Isn't that cool? So let's learn how to do that. You to be. So I'll cover up two aspects in this. One is how do you change the color of the pots? We had, I think in one of the earlier activities, done that. But let's see a little bit more in detail. How do you change the color of an existing character plus we'll pick up the last two options which are left in the scratch uh, junior options and that helps us to cover up everything in scratch junior in 10 sessions is the send start on orange and send on orange button so click on home button we take a nice background we delete the cat so we let's take a background now once you've taken the background we need the bots so I'll click on plus icon and I will select the orange bot first so that's the orange bot so let's keep it as it is now I want to insert one bot and I want to make it as yellow so I'll click on on the left hand side the plus click the bot and this time don't click on the tick mark click on the paint brush here option on the top left corner and bottom right you've got paint uh, fill bucket so take that and fill it up with the yellow color and so I'll just change the outline of the boat and the jacket to yellow right and let's change the cap also okay so that's the yellow boat and finally let's take the the green one so let's make the boat green so we take oh I just need to delete that because before I insert I need to make sure I'm changing its color so I select the board click on the paint brush here take the paint bucket select the green color and change it to green now once this is done our next task is to make sure that these reduce in size so I'll go on orange I click on shrink and make it smaller so let's make it a little bit more smaller similarly I go on yellow I go on shrink and make it smaller and we go on the green button and oh and we make it smaller so here so we got all the three boats ready now the next step is I need three buttons so let's see how do we create the button we go on plus icon I go on paintbrush I take a blank 
I take circle from you I just draw it and I fill it up with green paint bucket so that's the green button you get we go on plus so the same way you create the yellow icon and the same way you create the red icon the orange icon so now all three are done let's move to the most important options as to how do you actually make them move when I click on these buttons so first thing we do is we go on the green button we click on the option start on tab because on clicking the orange button what I want to do is send a green message that is activate the green message okay so that's the first step you may not understand but just try and see on the tap of green button I want to activate green message and end the code now I go on the green board out here I will select start on green message right so we click on the small triangle up what uh, inverted triangle so start on what happens on green message so as soon as the green message comes to it I make it move 10 times forward let's see how it works so I click on the green and the green board moves right I click on green and the green board moves similarly what we do is we go on the yellow button now we do the same thing on clicking the yellow button go to message yellow and end the code on clicking the yellow button go to message yellow and shut the code now yellow board is here so let's drag and drop this option start on yellow board make it go 10 steps ahead and end the code so that's the yellow code right finally we go on the red one the orange one we do the same thing when you click on the orange board what should happen A orange message should go and the code the red actually is red so I go on this board I put an option that on getting the message red make it move 10 steps ahead and end the code so now let's go on full screen you will see the green one the green moves yellow the yellow moves orange the orange moves so or if I click on both any both of them move so just again getting back you could have six messages worked on and send those messages now I created this maze with the help of these messages I'm not going to show you in this tutorial probably some of the time but how these messages help you work is I have created a maze with arrows so if you see if I click on the right arrow the horse moves on the right if I click on the down the horse moves on the down click on the left the horse moves on the left down left right then when it goes on the top you see as soon as it touches that I said you're the winner now with all the 10 tutorials I have taught you if you carefully go through my tutorials one by one you will be able to create this maze on your own it's an amazing tool scratch junior I just love it and I thought you know why not create some kind of a tutorials for smaller children age 5 to 8 or 9 also somebody who's not done uh, you know worked on scratch there's a good amount of tutorials available online but I have done is covered up all the options of tutorials from session 1 to session 10 thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel so that you could keep getting notifications of my videos